So this demo is going to show you how to do two different things, and we're going to do it in the same example. One thing we're going to look at is how to use editable attributes in a block. And an editable attribute is simply text that is in a block that you can edit and change without exploding the block. And the other thing we're going to look at is making a block that is annotative so you can adjust the scale based on the scale of the drawing. So the example we're going to look at here is a drawing title. We're going to create one that has editable attributes and that's also annotative so it can scale. The first thing I need to do, I need to make sure that I've got my text styles set up uh, according to the IDCAD standards, which I've already done, so just take a look at that document. You need to make sure you've got all the stylus BT sizes because we're going to use the 8th, 316th, and 332nd. You want to be uh, at 1 to 1 for your annotation scale for right now. And you want to make sure that you are on layer 0 because we're creating a block and generally we want to create blocks on layer 0 so that they can take on the um, characteristics of whatever layer we put them on. So I'm going to be working in paper space size even though I'm still in model space. And that's because we're going to make this an annotative block that will scale up and down. So I want to make it true size first and then we'll adjust the scale as we need to. So I'm going to ref reference the IDCAD standards to take a look at the uh, requirements for a drawing label. And we need a circle that is one half inch in diameter. So I'm going to start there. I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to use a quarter inch uh, radius to get my half inch diameter. Then I need to draw that line that bisects the circle and goes across. So I'm going to do my line and I'm going to start at my quadrant over here. And I'm going to go over, let's do four and a half inches. The next thing that I want to do is I want to give myself some guidelines to work with to help me place my text. So I'm going to offset um, by 1 32nd of an inch. Whoops, 1 32nd of an inch. I'm going to offset this line I just drew in both directions. And then I'm going to draw a line from this intersection and take it up. And then I'm just going to stretch it down a little bit just to give myself some... Uh, reference points and I'm going to offset that by 1 32nd as well to the right. So the first piece of text I'm going to create using an attribute is the drawing number. So I want to go to the insert tab and I want to look for this button uh, define attributes. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to open this dialog box. The first thing that I want to look at is this tag and this is really just a placeholder so I'm just going to put in an X and then for the prompt what I want to put in is enter drawing number, just so I know which piece of text it's looking for. And then I'm going to check the justification. What I want for this one is I actually want this one to be bottom center, and I want my text style to be my 1 8th stylus BT style, and we want it annotated. So I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to actually use the center point of the circle for this one because um, when you use the, the bottom center, it automatically gives you a little bit of space underneath it. The next piece of text we're going to use uh, or create is the tag for the sheet number. So let's go back into our define attributes. And for our tag, this time I'm going to put a x point x. I try to make my tags represent what the, the uh, text will end up being. And then I can kind of check my sizes as I'm going as well. And for the prompt, I'm going to just say enter sheet number. And this time I want my justification to be, let's see, top center, and I want it to be my stylus BT 1 8 of an inch. I'm going to click OK. And this time I'm going to go ahead and bring it down to this guideline that I created because when you do top center, it doesn't give you that same spacing as when you do bottom center. So now I've got these two pieces. The next one I'm going to do is my drawing title. So again, I go into my draw, define attributes, and for my tag, I'm just going to put drawing name and you can't put spaces in these tags you can use some underscores if you need to but you know they're just placeholders so for the prompt I'm going to say enter drawing name and for this I'm going to leave the justification as left and I'm going to change my text style to my SB or my stylus BT of 3 16 and click OK and I'm going to use this intersection of my guidelines as my placement and so then I've got that one. So now I want to do the scale. So I'm going to go back into my define attributes. And again, I'm going to put for my uh, tag, I'm just going to put scale. For my prompt, I'm going to put in enter drawing scale. Now for this one, 
we can use this default setting. And what the default setting does is it can put in a field that um, if you know there's a piece of text that's always going to stay the same, you can go ahead and put that in so you don't have to type it every time. So I know my scale is always going to start with scale and my colon here. So then what I want to do is I want to um, look at my justification again. And this time we want to have top left because we want this under the line. And we want our text style to be our 3 seconds of an inch stylus BT. Click OK and click on this intersection. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit to make sure I get it. OK, so now I've got all of my tags and my attributes. Now I need to create my block. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to erase my extra lines here so I don't accidentally create them as part of my block. And then I'm going to go into the create block and I'm going to call this drawing title. All right, so what I want to do is I want to pick my base point and I'm, I'm going to um, select this intersection right here. I'm going to select my objects. I'm going to select all of these. And then I want to click this annotative box here under the behavior. So then I, that allows me to scale it. So now I'm just going to click OK. And I can go ahead and this is just like I'm inserting the block. So I can go ahead and put in my scale. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click OK for right now. Now what I want to do is, you know, this is a block and it's got the, you know, the only piece of text in it right now is that default one. What I want to do now is I'm going to zoom out here and I've got uh, floor plans here. And what I'm going to do, let me erase this. I'm going to insert my block that I just created for my floor plan saying that it's an eighth inch scale. So the first thing I want to do, I want to go and change my um, layer, go to A Anno Title. And then I am going to change my annotation scale to one eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to insert my block. And let me find it. That was my test one. Let me find my. There it is. Okay, so now I'm going to insert it here. And my scale is going to be one eighth of an inch equals one foot dash zero inch. My drawing name is going to be, I'm going to put on my caps lock, first floor plan. My sheet number, I'm going to make it just uh, A1.0. And my drawing number, I'm going to make it drawing number one. I'm going to click OK. And now you can see that it's put in the text that I just typed in. Now let's say, um, let's say we need to put this on a different sheet. All I have to do then, I can click on this, and I just double clicked. Let's say we need to move this to sheet A1.1. I can click OK, and it changes the text, but this is still a block. And it's, you've also noticed that it's come up the correct size for this 8th inch floor plan. Let's go up here to our elevations. And for our elevations, they're at 1 half of an inch. So let's see what happens if I put it in at a half of an inch. I'm going to change my annotation scale. Let me find 1 half of an inch. There we go. And I'm going to insert my block. My drawing title. And insert it. My scale is going to be one half of an inch equals one foot dash zero inches. My drawing name is going to be bathroom elevation. Whoops, I hit my caps lock off. Let's try that again. Elevation. My sheet number, let's just say it's on A5.0. And my drawing number, let's make it drawing number three. Click OK. And again, you can see that it's put in those values. Now, if I move this one next to the one I created for the floor plan, you can see that it's quite a bit smaller. And that's that annotative block at work so that you can, when you, you know, go into your viewports and scale your viewports, then the text is all going to come up at the same size. So this is a really handy tool to know how to do. It works great also for creating title blocks. You can create a, a block of a title block and make all of your text editable attributes and then you can maintain it as a block but still be able to adjust the text. So that gives you a little overview on how to use editable attributes and also how to use an annotative block.